Hey again, Creative Crafters. For this project, I made a beautiful candelabra. And this is a super easy project. But first, I want to let you know about a giveaway hosted by a wonderful company called Exquisite. They are a company based here in the U.S. Their main product is candles. And I know most everyone loves candles. I know I do. They offer unique high quality handmade items from decor to spices now in relation to the candles they have so many things to choose from from scented candles floating candles taper candles and just so many more as well as essential oils now they're hosting three consecutive giveaways so stay tuned to find out in this video what the giveaway is and how to enter so you have a chance to win and remember this is for the next three videos so to start this project i used wooden blocks well i couldn't find any from um, dollar tree you know the tumble tower game that we usually use um so after i went to a bunch of stores i finally broke down and went and bought the original ones and i haven't seen anyone use the full size ones but i have to tell you for the amount of wood you get it's well worth it i think the value is actually better now it would take a lot of the dollar tree blocks to equal um one of these and i have found them online for as few dollars as three on wish um target i think was five and walmart was closer to seven now the wood is hard wood the quality is better so i think it is a better deal the only con that i can really uh say about the the original ones is their brand is seared into the wood so it takes a good bit of paint to cover up but again you can find the off-brand ones that are the full size ones anyway to start this i lined my wood pieces in several designs until i came up with one that I wanted to go with and by the way your table or your desk whatever you're working on is going to be your best friend during this project I have a square that I got from Dollar Tree and this is going to help keep each block lined up nice and straight as I go but I found what works better is either gluing these flat against the table or as soon as I add the glue then laying them flat on the table to set them now on the bottom row, um, the blocks start with one standing straight up and at the top I go off to the side. The next row is stacked two blocks high um, and I just add one block per row until I get to the one that's four blocks high. Now the pattern at the very bottom is one standing tall. Um, and the one next beside it is laying flat. And the pattern just continues uh, to do this all the way across the bottom. So as you can tell, it's obviously a staircase pattern, which is what I'm going to call it. And it's pretty much self-explanatory. But again, you just want to add one block higher for each row until you get to the center with two pillars of four blocks high. And then start working your way down and ending with one block um, to match the other side. Now I use hot glue to glue each piece. Make sure each piece is laying flat and even on all sides and frequently check with like your square or your table just to reassure it's level. Now I know this is the extra step and it takes a few extra seconds to do this for each piece as you go rather than just like gluing them all back to back but it's a simple step and it's huge on the overall end results. Here's an example of what I mean. So you see these three walls are built and the fourth piece should fit in it perfectly in place just like you see here which is way unlike the other three pieces that I have the fourth block will not fit in it's completely impossible without taking it apart and then if you did that you would need to sand it and start all over so again keeping a check on it is super important the wood blocks may not you know be exactly even or flush on one side and that's okay as long as you're making it level as you go by gluing against something that's flat and straight otherwise it's probably going to be a hot mess if you don't keep an eye on it now i know you watched me put this structure together before i glued it earlier but i'm going to jump to the center and uh because i want to show you exactly how i glue and go to the next piece so you know how to get yours perfectly straight so as you build and add to each side um 
you want to make sure you're laying it flat on the table as you go. Now, even though it's in fast forward, you can see that this unit will stand straight up all on its own throughout the entire process of the build. After your staircase is complete, just repeat this again so you have two separate units. Test both of them to make sure there isn't any weak spots. And I'll connect the two staircases together by gluing three blocks along the bottom of one of the staircases. So I glue one on each side and one in the very center. I make sure to line up my second staircase and then I add glue to those same three blocks and connect the other unit, kind of sandwiching those uh, center blocks together. So for the top, I glue a block to the second level on each side and one in the middle here as well. Top Gluing the top blocks um, is a lot easier because the unit is already together, but now everything is all one unit, so you can paint it. I used white spray paint, and clearly I didn't spray the bottom very good, but um, I can pick up on this anywhere and hold the whole unit by any one block. On this structure it's super durable and stout so to decorate it i hang gems in the center of each column or row um, these gems are some that i purchased from amazon and i'll link below with the information if you want to check it out i custom fit these uh, chandelier gems to where i would have a long one in the center and i made them shorter and shorter to fit the staircase as you know they get shorter and shorter and to connect the gems in the center i'm going to use fish and line if you don't have any fish and line you can use the thin silver hanging wire out of the tool section of dollar tree that's probably a better idea anyway and definitely probably easier than using fish and line so i thread the gems through the jump ring and i tie the line around the center of this support bar on the top column. Now for the ones that does not have a support bar or a block going from side to side, I just tie it around the sides entirely. Next, I use some of the five by five mirrors from Dollar Tree and I remove the little foam legs on the back. Here, I add glue to the top staircase and center the five by five mirror. And you'll just repeat this for each column or stair until you have a full mirror topping on each platform. Now I prep my beautiful ivory taper candles that i got from exquisite and i so love these and i know three three lucky winners will too so exquisite is given this same 30 pack of clean burning ivory taper candles to three lucky viewers here on creative living i love them and i know you will too i was so impressed with the quality and the branding of their products each candle is individually wrapped they're all 10 inches tall and 3 inches in diameter. They're also hand dipped and are made from 100% pure paraffin wax. Exquisite offers a 60 day guaranteed satisfaction or your money back. Absolutely no questions asked. You really couldn't ask more from a company. I highly recommend them. They also sent scented candles and tea light candles, a whole bunch of other goodies that I'll get into in future videos. I'm super excited to share that. But back to this project. So these ivory candles are so classy and elegant, but I decided to jazz them up a bit. To do this, I used masking tape on each one of them. And I start at the top and I found that pulling a good bit of the tape off of the row works a lot easier when you're wrapping the tape around and around. So that's what I do. I just go around and down until I get to the end and then I tear the tape off and I rub the candles um, you know really good with my hands and in between my hands just to make sure there's no air pocket in the masking tape then I add Mod Podge and silver glitter and once the Mod Podge is dry 
you can add another coat um, if you don't want the glitter to shed. I recommend doing that. I had to go back and do that. Um, but once it's dry, you can just peel the tape off. And I'm loving the results on how this turned out. So the ones I jazzed up are just for decoration. I don't recommend burning candles with glitter on them. You could use gems and other bling to decorate these. The options are endless. Now I set the Dollar Tree tapered candle holders on top of each of the five by five mirrors and I place the candles from exquisite inside of each candle holder. From here you can add Christmas garland to set the scene for winter decor or use beaded garland to glam it up for your home or even for weddings events and of course you could use like red candles for Christmas or Valentine's. There's just so many things you can do with this candelabra. It's so versatile and I went around the front with some adhesive gems and I also placed some glass knobs on the ends of each mirror just for another pop of glam and I set the scene uh, with some Christmas garland and then later I removed that and then used some beaded garland. Be sure to thank Exquisite and check out their holiday scented tea lights too. They smell so good. All their products have a long burn time. And to enter the giveaway, click the link in the description box below. Be sure to read all the information listed about this giveaway. The winners will be announced December 15th in the next video, so be sure you turn your bell on. This giveaway is going to be ongoing for two more videos, and every time it will be something different. Thank you for watching. Thank you to Exquisite for hosting this giveaway and sponsoring this video. I will see you in the next video with the three winners. And until then, happy crafting, my friends.